Hey guys, welcome to the course tutorial, the free Unity course. And um, today, today's episode, we're going to be building our game. We're going to be just publishing it to a .exe, .mac, whatever it is called. And uh, we're going to be playing it in full screen, basically. But we're also going to be talking quite a lot about where to go from there. Because, okay, so you've done the first course, you've learned those little syntax, basic stuff. But where do you actually go from there? Uh, this is a question people actually ask quite often. So. We're going to start with the first step. Let's actually build this thing. I'm going to go over to build settings and this is all we need to do. So basically we have our scenes that we've put in there um, previously because we were just changing scene dynamically. Menu scene, the game scene. Then we need to choose what are we actually building this for. When we've made our game, we've made it for a resolution that is uh, 16 per 9 and the reason we did that is so we can build to uh, PC, Mac and Linux standalone because that's, that's uh, the most common screen resolution there is out there. Um, but you could also build for Android. Now, right now, if you're trying to build for Android, it might not say the exact same thing as I have here. And it's because you need to add additional module to actually build for those things. Like iOS, I can't actually buy, build for iOS because I did not download the extra plugin I need from Unity. So in case you don't see those options, you're like, you're like me with say um, Xbox 360, not really Xbox, but iOS, you gotta click on those button, open up the download page, it's going to bring you on their website where you just download a new plugin. And it's actually downloading it right now, so let's cancel it because I'm not building for iOS. For this case, we're building for PC. Let's actually do a build and run, and that's really all we need to do. So let's type in, say, Snake. Snake is going to be our game, so Snake Game. And it's automatically going to just boot for us. It's automatically just going to start the game. Now, when you start a game, you're going to have like those uh, default configuration that you can put let's say we're going to play in full screen 1920 by 1080 let's actually start boot that here we go we play our game full screen mode and here it is click on play and then we get to play our snake in full screen mode it's always fun to play your build for some reason even though our game has no graphics it's really <laughs> it's really bad looking but still we have our product our product is actually chip as a .exe and let's have a look at that actually let me close that by doing Alt F4. If we head over to my build folder, which I think I've built uh, right here, I've built it right in the middle of my project folder for some reason. It actually generated a few things. Let me just wrap this up inside of a build folder. There is the snake data, there is the snake.exe. And I think that's pretty much it. So you need these two things. You need uh, your .exe and you also need your data. Your data is something that Unity outputs. It has to be in the same folder, um, so it works. And as you can tell, I'm just booting it from an actual, an actual folder now. I'm, I'm booting it from um, my Windows Explorer, not from the Unity engine. So I could actually just close that and run it here. So you have your build right here. That's your build. That's your game. Something you've made, and that's cool, but that's just a snake game. That's not really your dream game. That's not what you're trying to actually achieve, right? By learning how to make games. And um, where do you actually go from there? That's a very good question that people often ask when they finish a course, when they finish school or something like that, and they didn't really fully learn what they want. And um, the easiest answer I can give you, the easiest answer I, I will give you actually, is from personal experience because I've been there I've been stuck at one point being like okay so I've done this uh, course thing um, and, and on the web actually I've done like a C sharp course on the web it was really bland was not really that useful I was just like how do I make games now where do I go from here how do I create most my specific game mechanics for this idea I have in my head and that's really where you should aim actually you should start by figuring out what it is that you want to make. What what game do you want to start making right now? I remember back in the days I was like really into making like custom maps for games like Far Cry and I've wanted to make some kind of map editor of my own, of my own game. So I had like my player just moving around, took like few tutorials on YouTube on how to move a player around and then I tried to actually create a map editor. So at this point it was no longer learning. I was just trying to make a map editor, right? I was just trying to make uh, Terran modifies itself. I wanted to spawn some objects. I had like that passion just to create a Terran editor. It didn't really matter uh, if I knew how to code or not. I would just look up stuff. I would just like constantly look up stuff. I would ask questions on the Unity forum. Um, that was like five years ago. And I would just go with every single bit of information I had and just try to piece them up together. 
but really like this is what should be driving you this is not like another course I'm, I'm not going to point you toward another course but really what should be fueling what uh, you're going to learn next is really what interests you you have like your really basic understanding of code right it's nothing like super in-depth but you don't need anything in-depth you just need to have like basic understanding of how a game object works and go from there if you want to make like a platformer just go look up how to make every single thing just break them down so how do I make a player move how do I spawn platform how do I move platforms how do I uh, collect coin just look them up individually and you're eventually going to learn how to piece them up together by yourself and I think that is the best way for you to learn just have your good idea the thing that motivates you to learn don't think about it about learning don't just don't go out there and be like I want to learn how to do code just think about I want to make this game and break it up apart you want to make a platformer game okay how do I move look up how to move a player how do I spawn platform how do I do these little specific thing and put them together that is the best advice I can give you and that is hopefully answering to a lot of where did you learn how to code stuff that I keep getting on the um, on the comments I'm not tired of answering I'm just this is like my real answer right there and I hope you can appreciate it for what it is um, if it works for you good if it doesn't you can keep on taking courses but I might get boring eventually so a final thanks for watching of course I'll see you guys on the channel on the Facebook page in the comments pretty much anywhere so have a good one cheers